What have you done? I'm a typical of my metaverse certified DevOps engineer, and I'm going to show you today how we can install our set of the latest MongoDB on Ubuntu 20.04. So um, let's get started. Um, I have created a blog on how to create those things here, and uh, I will keep the link in the video description. But in short, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, Add uh, this GPG key, then I'm going to uh, add the MongoDB repo into the uh, table list, the resource list, and I'm going to install the MongoDB and I'm going to insert some uh, data into the connections and I'm going to show how that works. So let's get started. Uh, at first, I'm going to create uh, an instance. Uh, so let's go to launch instance. I know everyone knows how to install instance, but I'm going to show it again because if someone is very new and doesn't know, so that's something I'm slightly Okay, so let's give it a name. So um, then let's uh, choose Ubuntu. From this uh, Ubuntu image, I'm going to choose the uh, twenty point zero four. Why? Because uh, the 22 is still not supported yet. So the instructions that I'm going to give you, it's not supported in 22. So please be careful to choose the 20.04, not the 22. Probably I will uh, add a new video when the support is added, but at the moment when I'm uh, editing this video, it's on Gen 29. So there's no support available for the So. I'm going to choose uh, everything and everything, everything as this is. Now, uh, keep here, I have already created a previous clip here, and I hope you see. if you don't have any previous keep here created, you can just click this button to create a new keep here. So for the security group, uh, I just allow open SSH, that's okay. And then I am click IAM instance profile and choose the city role. So let's start. Might take one or two minutes, so just a Okay, uh, it is pending, so uh, yeah, that's it. It's one or two more minutes, so I just have to push the screen to see whether it's done. Sometimes it's very fast, sometimes it's very slow. That depends on how it is. Okay, still pending. Uh, 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 let's try to do this one more time. Yeah, it is running. So we are now able to connect. And I should be able to connect via the distinctions connect. Let's see. Okay, so uh, let's clear the screen and grab the comments from my website. Just copy this. Should be very easy. Remember to copy everything. So if you just copy this, then it might not work because there's nothing. So just copy it. Okay, then click uh, this part. So, Okay. Install number of the card. Okay. okay, we start in some time. Let's clear the screen so that we can do it properly. So this is now installing the MongoDB. Start the MongoDB by running this command. This, this is done. Next 
famous. So it looks like it's running. So now I can enable this. Um, to enable MongoDB, that means if you restart this instance, MongoDB will be auto started. If you don't do this, then you have to manually start it, which is online. So always do this, otherwise it might get weird issues. Okay, so uh, this is, I think I have to update that because this is, there has been change in search. I need to update my blog, so yeah. If you do Mongo SH, then you will be able to connect with your instance and use it for this instance. Let's see if I can clear the screen. Here is not the MongoDB command, so it is working the terminal session, but that's okay. Um, I can make that screen bigger. Let's see. You can see it. I made the screen bigger. So, um, what we do is when at this moment, uh, there is no collection is there. So, to create a collection in MongoDB, you just use uh, a command use and then the collection name that we, uh, oh, sorry, uh, database name that we create the database. If you do not have any database, just run the command use the database name. So, in this our example, I'm going to create the database. database. So, let's just call it use the database and it's connected. Once this is done, then I'm going to uh, insert one comment here into the collection uh, users. So uh, the beauty of MongoDB is that you're going to create the collections. For example, I haven't, I don't have an, uh, created these collections users, but when I run the comment for insert, it automatically creates the collection. So uh, you see, acknowledge true, insert ID, this is the object ID, there is the ID. Now, if I try to run this uh, command, it should show me. And that is also done. You can run other commands, you can create more collections, uh, all of the things you can do. But that's not the point. The point is uh, what we have shown here is that we have a instance, you can use this to connect with them. Uh, MongoDB and then create your directions, etc. So that being said, uh, that's it for today. I hope this helps you to uh, get started with MongoDB in the other uh, If you have any questions or comments, please put your comments in the video description or video below, and I will try to help you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye -bye.